so I'm gonna do another shoot tutorial and this one will create a snake like a snake loop texture so we're gonna go Google we're gonna take a look for skin snakes I found this one which is quite cool and uh, there are many ones that already got normal maps so you can might find ones with normal maps displacements and all sorts that you can download I'll just go for this black and white one this bump map I'll save this onto my desktop which is already saved no I haven't saved it okay save as image as desktop I'll just call it snake skin you can save it somewhere else I'll just put it on my desktop for now I'll delete this later so once you have that downloaded open up Ventus should give it a second Pops open. You can open a new start with an existing project or a new project. So I'll just go into this one there. Hit cancel. Now I'll go, so I've got empty new scene. And what we want to do is grab an axis. It's really cool. We're going to create a nice loop, looping animation. And what I'll do is render it off as well and make this available if you want the looping clip separate. But we'll start. You can build this yourself as well. So Vince is really good for creating nice animations really quickly. So let's get, we've got an axis, let's get a color, some material. Bam. Now we want to apply it to a torus. I'm going to go to my axis scale all. Just rotate it a tiny bit, just so I have a nice, nice view of it rather than look flat on it. Um, click on the material, material stage, click the plus button texture choose base on the loader double click the check code box you will load load in your texture which is here my snake skin open there you go doesn't look fancy right now does it but if you go click the plus button again on the material stage and this time we go to normal map and then we go normal map generator the cool thing is it will generate we can generate a normal map from our bump map so we'll load that in again the same texture desktop snake skin and there we go we've got a nice normal map and you can see all the bumps which is quite cool so what you want to do is before you click off of the normal map on the normal map options we want to change the UV the wrap sorry to inherit so it inherits the base and then the UV mapping also to inherit from above so from above means the one above it which is the base here so now if we change the the wrap the, the simple to simple wrap and the UV mapping on the base to 2D UV zero and what we can do is change the scale so I'm going to say like point 0.2 let's see what happens maybe that's too small point 0.4 maybe point 0.5 we, we, we can play around with this point I'll do point 0.2 and point 0.5 Okay, we can scale that. You can do the overall scale. So if you want to scale it up by two or 0.5 or 1.5 or 1.2, you know, you can you can also edit it there. That's cool. But now we've got a nice texture with a nice bump. And if we we look closer at the object and we rotate. You get this nice bump and all we want to do is we want to animate the Z axis on the rotation so click the squiggly line we want rotation so linear 360 clockwise you can go minus or linear 360 whatever you want clockwise or counterclockwise it doesn't matter if you want you can change it and you can swap it around if you want to expose that you can click the little arrow here and increase that duration slow it down you know until you're happy with the speed so I'm just gonna put in say 350 and I'm probably want it to go counterclockwise so I want there we go I'm happy with that speed maybe 300 there we go. oh there we go cool so once you're happy with that you've got your snake skin sorted out what you can do actually what we want to do is well, on the base color I want to say inherit 
Where is it? Inherit. There we go. Inherit. So then I can have a material at the top of everything. So what I'm going to do is get a new material. Place it in front of this. Now, what you can do is you can position this. And create a composition. Like a nice, you know. You can offset this like this. And then what we're going to do is scale that maybe a little bit. Duplicate, control and drag down. Rotate this, push it back, and create this nice looping animation by using Torres and animated texture. So it looks like we've got a snake kind of all tangled up. Now you could add more axes in here if you want. Uh, give you a bit more control, but. Kind of like that. Go for a different skill, maybe. And we could just keep on adding, just keep on adding until we fill the whole screen. We have a nice, nice loop. Just make sure they don't intersect. So then, and if you want, you can click on the torus itself, and you can change like the tube size. So you can have thicker ones, thinner ones, and if it's thicker, then I'd suggest clicking on that material itself. Go on the base and then change the scale factor maybe to like one you know because that's a thicker one so you have more scales just to keep it more proportion um just gonna keep on adding so i'll duplicate that one again perhaps this one is here we turn this change that tube size and again I'll adjust that material and once you're happy with your scene and your composition we can light it and change the colors which is going to be cool there we go Now you might notice there's a seam there, so that could be just the that's just the scale in here. So maybe one and get rid of that. But you just make sure. I, I like this kind of look there. That looks kind of cool. Kind of filled my screen up. So now if I want, I can adjust up, add a tint of color to this if I want, for example. So if I want it nice and black, I can do that, or I can say I want it blue or green. So you can create a nice cool cool things I might go for like a, a like a silvery black and then change my base color to fong it gives me options now to change the the you know the specular so I can tw tweak that and if you want you can add the tint to that which is kind of cool maybe you want to make it more sharp or there we go and the cool thing is we can light this as well so if you want maybe you want to use some point lights I'll, I'll use the point lights for this and position them so get a point light changes the in position so bring it forward so you got nice 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 light in there and then you can add another one just drag it in front perhaps you want to add a secondary color in there maybe off over here yeah change the diffuse Got like a purple here, and then I'll, I'll just duplicate that same light. Maybe a blue. You can also change the specular on the light color, so it affects the specular. So maybe this one's blue. There you go. Now I've got a space here that I might want to fill, so I'll, I'll just kind of get another Torres, duplicate that. I'll just kind of push this back, rotate it a little. Yeah, and maybe this space here I want to fill as well. So there's something going on. So I'll just 
again duplicate you see how easy it is to create these looping animations very little effort bring this forward in Z Just tilt this this way maybe there we go maybe push that back I don't mind having a bit of empty space there it's not just, there we go or something like this this kind of looks cool and then if you want you can offset it because they, they I mean it doesn't matter too much but maybe this one I want to offset slightly or maybe speed it up a tiny bit or slow it down even more no, speed it. yes speed it up And you can go in for each mover and you can adjust those offsets or movers. I kind of like them the way it moves now, which is kind of cool. So I'm happy with that. Really short tutorial. Uh, I've got a little update. Let me just, just Steam update. Uh, we can ignore that. But yeah, hopefully that was useful. I'll make a rendered loop for you um, if you want to use this for anything else. If you don't want to, I mean, but you can create this as well. So pretty easy. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And experiment you know try different objects you know maybe change change the tessellation see what you get you might get a completely different look changing that tessellation and, you know I've got some triangles so you might not like it but you could use different textures experiment try the different torus sizes you know but yeah anyway hope you enjoyed that thank you again Bye-bye.